All right, Shalom. Before I begin this video, all the praise, honor, and glory goes into Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. The bond is to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. All right, and the sincere salutations to you, brothers, all across the four corners of the earth. All right, pushing this word in sincerity and in faith. Okay, you, you hopeful elect of Israel out there, man. So, this is going to be a quick video through the Spirit. But, um,. The, the title of this is, is going to be called, it's, it's About That Time, Brothers, okay? So it's about that time, brothers, that, you know, it's going to get to the point where if you don't have uh, the new word I've been seeing the brothers use is Vanessa. If you don't have Vanessa, if you ain't got Vanessa in your system, if you don't have that, that juice, you know, if the juice ain't loose, you know, all up in your bloodstream, then, then you know, it's, it's going to get hard out here, which through the spirit, we know that we cannot take, we cannot take that, uh, uh, that Vanessa, man. And, you know, different, uh, different brothers got different jobs and things like that. And, uh, you know, on my job, they actually, uh, you know, they re-implemented the masks which you know at first when they said okay you know you, you don't have to wear a mask or whatever I was like great you know what I mean the mask pissed me off they don't do number but you know they don't do number you know piss you off so I was I was happy I was like yeah man you know and just as it just as short as they came and said you don't have to wear them now they coming back around they saying that you gotta wear them and see you, you damn, you damn two thirds. You you will dance to the tune of the so-called white man all day. You don't do nothing unless the so-called white man tell you to do it. All right, and it's it's gonna apply with this too. All right, I'm gonna try not to make this too long. You know, the spirit have the spirit have certain brothers be you know. A little long-winded sometimes you know or make a, a really long point well, we in that time man we in that time all right u.s employers ratchet up the pressure on the unvanessa all right so it says right here proof of vanessa is required for indoor dining for sure, we don't want to eat at your nasty ass restaurants, anyways, man. All right. Anyways, it says this. This is uh, in New York, but you already know that this is gonna be spread uh, throughout the U.S. because New York, in specific, New York City is, you know, one of the major epicenter. Well, it is the it is the premier epicenter of the United States. When you ask somebody to name. <clears throat> One, one city in the United States, if you ask anybody internationally, whether you're in Paris, whether you're in China, whether you're in Russia, most likely they're going to tell you, oh, New York City, New York City, you know, the Big Apple, which is ironic that they call it the, the Big Apple, you know what I mean, it's ironic, one Big at one big ass you know and, and and we all know that eve didn't bite into an actual fruit or anything like that but you know it's it's one big philosophy they should have called it the, the the big glass of wine you know and they call america uh, a melting pot you know and specifically new york city new york city has every single new york city itself has every single nation all 18 nations on the earth are in new york city Guarantee, guarantee you got Ishmael out there, Moab out. There. Everybody is out there. Everybody, even if you only, even if you only got, you know, a, a thousand Ishmaelites, there's still Ishmaelites out there. You know, now you go to certain places like Idaho, Vermont. You know, you may have, you know, maybe ten nations out there. But as as far as all eighteen nations, New York City has all eighteen nations. Uh, out there, man. 
right? So everybody's sipping on the Babylonian juice, except for who? The whole full of lit. We the only ones that are saying, hell no, we're not taking no juice. You even have certain family members at first, they were saying, well, no, I'm not taking it, I'm not taking it. And then now they starting to soften up. Well, I might have to take it for my job or, well, no, no, hell to the no. We not taking it regardless. We we don't give a damn what happens. All right, certain brothers, man, you gonna have to <laughs> you gonna have to open open up your doors to a you know to a brother who just don't who, who may lose his job. You know, he may have to crash on the couch and and or in the spare bedroom or something. That's the times that we gonna be in, man. That's the times that we gonna be in very soon, man. All right, it says employers are losing patience with unvanessed workers. For months, most employees relied on information campaigns, bonuses, and other incentives to encourage their workforces uh, to get the CV shot. Now, a growing number are imposing rules to make it more uh, onerous for employees to refuse for outright mandates to requiring the unvanessed to undergo regular testing, which yeah, we all know that that's going to lead to, you know, they're, they're only going to do that for a little bit. All right, because then they're going to say, oh, we don't have the money to keep doing this. You need to get, you need to get Vanessa. All right. Among employers getting tougher are the, man, I ain't even going to say that. All right. It says uh, the state of California and New York tech giants, Google and Facebook, the Walt Disney Company, and the NFL, just to name a few. All right. Some hospitals, so let's change that to most. Most hospitals, universities, restaurants, bars, and other entertainment venues have also started requiring Vanessa. But the new measures are unlikely to affect many of the millions of unvanessa Americans. All right, many of the companies that are requiring um, shots have most have mostly office workers who are already largely Vanessa and are reluctant to work alongside those who aren't. In contrast, major companies that rely on low-income, blue-collar workers, food manufacturers, warehouses, supermarkets, and other store chains, in other words, Jake, in other words, Jake, right, are shying away from mandates for fear of driving away employees and worsening the labor shortages such businesses are facing but after a while they're just going to uh, put that as part of the budget and take the losses because they, they have already made enough money so at this point they're like okay we've made the money alright we're using these niggas okay let's pull the plug let's get this popping okay Tyson Foods for instance said about half of its US workforce 56,000 employees have received all right, the Vanessa, after the meat and poultry processor hosted more than 100 Vanessa events since February. But the company said it has no plans to impose a mandate to reach the other half, which that's going to change. Walmart and Amazon, the country's two largest private employers, have also declined to require its hourly workers to get Vanessa, continuing to rely on strategies such as bonuses, <clears throat> Salakia, and on-site access to shots. But... In a potentially powerful signal, Walmart said employees at its headquarters will be required to get Vanessa by October 4th, which, you know, I can see them saying eventually, all right, everybody needs the Vanessa. Everybody needs it, right? The biggest president so far has come from, right, you know who, which when you put this right here, the FG, that's basically E, okay? <laughs> The nation's largest employer. Which, which, who, who is that? E. E is the nation's largest employer. E give E give you a job. You do good by E. E give you a job and pat you on the head. All right. It says, um, you know, the Prez, uh, Sleepy Joe, announced last week that all federal employees and contractors must get Vanessa or put up with weekly testing and lose privileges such as official travel. The FG said, it's like it has said, it will cover the cost of the weekly test. As for the employers, insurance may pay for such testing at some workplaces, but not others. All right. 
So Sleepy's decision could embolden other employers by signaling they would be on solid legal ground to impose similar rules. And and what did the scripture say? That he uh, uh, he make you mischief by a law. Okay, it's mischief by a law. See this this nigga, okay, the so-called white man, he's lost his damn mind. Yet at the same time, he's extremely smart because he understands. Okay, two thirds of Israel will only listen to what I say if it's backed by a handful of things. If it's backed by science, if it's backed by legislation, and if it's backed by the quote-unquote community. You know. All right. It says. It says uh, uh, some companies face complicated considerations that go beyond legalities, including deep resistance to Vanessa in many states where they operate. Stores have, most, have mostly avoided uh, Vanessa requirements for customers for fear of alienating them and because of the difficulty in trying to verify their status. And that is why they're going to bring in this chip to verify your status. You... See, you, and, and when I say you niggas, I'm talking about two-thirds of Israel and you other nations. You niggas forgot about real ID 2020, didn't you? You forgot about all these different verifications. You forgot about the, ex, uh, uh, what do they call it, the Excelsior program, which, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Excelsior is that giant sword, I believe. Don't quote me on that. But I believe that, that Excelsior is that giant sword. So they know what they're doing with the Pope, man. All right. It says, but a shift is building amid frustration over plateauing Vanessa rates and alarm over the spread of the more contagious um, DV. <clears throat> On Monday, the U.S. finally reached uh, Sleepy's goal of dispensing at least one shot to 70% of American adults. So when you think about it, instantly the men of the Lord, starting off with the elder apostles of Great Millstone, fit into that 30% category who haven't taken it. You know, that's, that's, that's you know, so seven out of 10 people have taken it. If we go on by, if we go on just by the simple math, seven out of 10 people have taken it, but eventually it's gonna get to the point where it's nine. Nine out of ten people have taken it, right? That's why the 144,000 and the one-thirds is such a small number, man. Now, you're going to have, you know, I'm, and I'm speaking it through the Spirit, you know. You're going to have certain Israelites who have, you know, been poked. And they are going to be saved. Now, that don't mean that I'm not advocating you going out and getting poked up. That's not that's not what the fuck I'm saying. All right. But what I am saying is it's going to be something that, you know, they may not have known necessarily, you know, that that was going off. And, you know, they come into the truth. Oh, you know, Lord, you know, I, you know, four months ago I took the poke. You know, forgive me, Lord. All right. You know, the Lord's going to uh, forgive them and whatnot. You know, but as far as you you ignorantly just just doing it, nah, man, nah, man. The Lord's gonna the Lord is gonna know who legitimately took that, man. All right, and you getting your warning. You getting your warning through the men. All right, hey, especially the elder apostles, man. They they've been saying, don't get none of that. I remember when I was first coming into this truth, man. They were really pushing, you know, just the herbs, man. And they still pushing the herbs. You know, they just put, hey, you know, I and I, I learned a lot from these brothers. I learned a lot from my elder brother. Um, his uh, channel is is um, GMS Solemn Assembly. You know, brother out there in uh, uh, Buffalo. And, uh, you know, he was showing how to make a, basically a ginger oil. You know, how to, you know, showing how to do different things that combine orange peel uh, uh, lemon, cut up some lemon, boil it in some water, put some, put some, uh, um, some ginger, cut up some ginger, put that in there, you know, a little bit of honey, that'll get you right, you know, if you got a headache, you know, sore throat kind of thing like that, you know, and using the herbs, man, we don't need, to, and me, myself, I don't really, you know, 
take any. I don't take anything. You know what I mean? I can't really tell you the last time I took, you know, a Tylenol or aspirin or anything. I just don't take it. You know? Now, is that going off? Not necessarily. But you don't need, there's no point. There's no point to be taking Tylenols. There's no point to be, you know, doing all these different things, man. It's not, nece- it's not necessary. It's not something that you need to be doing, man. You know? Stick to what's natural. Stick to what's natural, man. All right, now, if you, you know, let's say you just got a, you got a really bad headache, you know, you don't have any, uh, uh, you know, any of the natural remedies, but, you know, you just happen to have a Tylenol. You know what I mean? You taking that, you're not necessarily going off. You know, once again, but you you don't you don't want to be just just taking Tylenol. You don't want to be just you know doing these different things, man. It's not no, no, man. Because what does the scripture say? That uh, you know everything that is lawful is not always expedient. All right. But anyways, it says. Um, Uh, it's requiring uh, employees and customers to be Vanessa by September 7th as far as these uh, New York City restaurants and all that. Yeah, but you also have people that have been fully Vanessa and, uh, you know, they're testing positive. So they're having that also. It's coming, brothers. It's coming, man. <laughs> it says our staff deserves to work in a Vanessa environment. Oh man, that's hell. That's hell. That's that is hell. Imagine that. You go to a workplace and they're saying we we deserve this. We get, this is what we deserve. We we want to be we want to be safe. This is the only way to be safe. And that's not safe. That's that's death. That's death. You asked him for it, man. Basically, by you, uh, you know, by you having Vanessa in your bloodstream, that's basically the software. You know, that's that software. Now, when they add that hardware... You know, which is that MOTB. Once they add that hardware and they activate that hardware, it's going to um, uh, it, it's going to be working with that software, which is that juice, that that jungle juice. You know, and it, it, and it's it, you're gonna be on you're gonna be on the grid. You're gonna be fully on the grid. All right, and we're gonna continue to warn. We're gonna continue to you know to cry out and to spare not like our Lord. Uh, Hamashiach Yahushua has told us, you know, day day in and day out. He tells us through the scriptures. Our Heavenly Father's Son speaks to us through the scriptures. Every day he speaks to us through the scriptures. The Heavenly Father speaks to us through, through you know, the elder apostles, you know, you know, the elder bishops, you know, the, the, the elder priests, you know, elder brothers, brothers, you know, that the, the men of the Lord are his mouthpiece. So he uses the men to speak, man. So we need we need to pay attention to what our, our brothers are saying. You know, even if these others, you know, don't don't want to listen, we have to continue to listen. We have to continue to be mindful, you know, of the situation that we're in, man. We are in a very, you know, we are in a very specific situation situation man that's go- it's gonna take it's gonna take a, 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 a spirit it's gonna take a spirit like none other man the Lord is literally gonna have to put the spirit on us to resist all the things that are coming man you know your brothers man get ready to separate from your your, your wife get ready to separate from your children get ready to separate from your family man and it's something that we think about sometimes and and it, it, it bothers us knowing that you know we may have to be without our jobs we may have to be without food is certain things like that 
you know, but the Lord is going to provide for us. All right, so this is just a, a message, you know, through, you know, the Apostle Peter, you know, which is King David. So we just have to take that into account. Uh, this is First Peter chapter 3 and verse 8. Well, actually, we'll start off from the top. First Peter chapter 3, verse 1. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation uh, of the wives. All right, which, you know, that applies to you women. Uh, but that also applies uh, to us. All right, we have to be in subjection of our, uh, of our husband. Who's our husband? Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. All right, the, the men of the Lord are, you know, are considered uh, sister wives. Okay, it says, yeah, and that's why, you know, the elder uh, apostles, they are like the, the top sister wives. They are the sister wives, you know, in their 50s, in their 60s. The older wives that are telling the younger wives, you know, this is how our our our, ma our master, remember that Yahweh Mashiach, is our master he is our lord so he so you know the the older sister wives are telling us okay this is how he wants his things this is how he he, he wants everything and we have to do it specifically how he wants we can't just freestyle and do what we want to do right that's part of being sub, uh, under subjection right the root word subject okay it says uh, while they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear. Yeah. So we have to have a fear. Right. And what's the beginning of, of, of understanding? You know, hey, the fear of the Lord. He's going to allow us to understand him by us fearing him. You know, verse three, whose adorning, let it not be that Salakia, whose adorning, let it not be that outward adorning of planting of hair and of wearing of gold or of putting on of apparel. Right, it's, it's, so not all the outward uh, appearance, you know, it's about the spirit, you know. But let it be the hidden man of the heart, okay, in that which is not corruptible. Oh, oh, <laughs> like the elder brother in, in Birmingham, you know. When you get on the point, that makes you say that. Oh, you know, it's not corruptible, right? Because the mind, the mind of the hopeful elect specifically the mind of the elect cannot be corrupted now it can be tempted right but it cannot be corrupted even our lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach was tempted you know after those 40 days and 40 nights man of fasting uh, but but what he wasn't corrupted right that's why we have, we have to be like unto him okay it says even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit which is in the sight of Yahweh of great price. Yeah, and that's why we've been bought. You know? Lord's will, we're bought, we're bought and paid for. You know, Lord's will, we, we're doing what we need to do in order to be saved, man. Verse 5. For after this manner in the old time, the holy woman also who trusted in Yahweh adorned themselves, being in subjection under their own husbands. Right? Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well, and are not afraid with any amazement. Yeah, so and what's the different amazements that are going to happen? These different uh, 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 medical technologies, you know, these different things.